What's up, fish tank people? Dawson's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Tuesday, baby, out in the sun. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So in today's little Tuesday live soiree, I'm uh, out in the sun because I was in a trade show for, I don't know, up at Reef of Palooza for three days without any sunlight. I'm vitamin D deficient, like, from the get. So I'm out getting sun, and I figured why not tell you guys uh, how to deal with full freaking sunlight in your aquariums, what to do. Uh, what not to do sun feels fantastic for me to get on my bones so I want to show you guys how I'm using it successfully uh, in the greenhouse and uh, not successfully in the greenhouse because it does go a couple of different ways so I'll start with the good and show you guys this because this is a lot of fun for me is that uh, I mean look the sun gives you everything like I can't believe people don't try to utilize it there's the full sun right there uh, I've got it essentially underneath the shade right here and I'll roll down like this so these are Krenum Natans that I got in. I got these in, you can click the link around somewhere for an unboxing video of all uh, 6,000 of these. So these are in full sunlight, but um, I'm using them in full sunlight. And what's nice about these plants is that they can handle full sunlight because they're so crowded in here. This is just a temporary holding spot for them. Uh, the tricks you gotta do though, is you gotta use full, uh, full fertilizers and full, full sunlight. Cause you gotta think the plant is working really, really, really hard when you're putting it in full sun so i've got uh this is chocked full of some of my new plant booster growth yeah plant booster growth juice that'll be available soon i don't know if you guys can see that with a glare or not but these are in here and then what i do is that i, I have them in here i can just tell by the way that they're looking like just look at the leaves on these the plants will tell you what's up so like this plant is healthy as an ox it's doing really well because uh, it's in full sun and then I come out here and I kind of swirl them around now what I have the ability to do that most of you don't do is that you're uh, you're able to do the big water changes on them in here this is actually a uh, another Natanz in there but you can see these plants are really enjoying the full sun like all day long they really like it they're getting everything uh, all of this you know full spectrum I mean they're coming out of the sun so uh, I'm floating these out here to show you guys this uh, but I do want to point out there's some things that don't work well with the sun. So rinse my hand off real quick. See that this is a tub of Apizelli right there. Rinse my hand off real quick while I do this live. And then I can also, uh... <laughs> hey, easy water changes. Boom, there you go, right? So uh, I all, I'm, what I'm going to do though with these is I'll take this whole big PVC and I'll shove it all the way down in there so that I can uh, change the water out no problem. So I'll just let it overflow the particles overflowing over there so that's money uh and look yeah it, obviously i'm setting a tank in the background now here's the uh here's the deal though to so turn this off you get, oh getting the, get the phone wet uh you do not actually want to set your aquariums in full direct sunlight on that though so like right here this is Krenna, or excuse me this is anubius afazeli this plant i've been moving strategically around so that it stays in the shade because this anubius likes the shade i've actually tried it in full sun and it doesn't work so I'm leaving it in the shade, but I want to show some other things with Anubius. That's one way to hurt the Anubius is to have it in uh, too much sun. This Apizelli is just fine. The other thing you got to worry about is temperature. So you got a little bit of higher temps right here. And the higher temps, it doesn't like the higher temperatures. So we got to keep it moving, it, keep it in the shade. And I actually store it uh, in a lower setup like this. So I'll walk in here and show you guys this. So I got the Apizelli in there and that's in the perfect setup actually because that gets a whole huge water change uh daily we do water changes on there and then here's the upper part this is the part that kind of has a, is a rough part we've got uh this is up here in full sun now i've been experimenting with this and i've had some failures i had to move the anubius uh coffifolia down because it was too hot but look at the full sun right here this is the real deal homie field we've got this up here like that so I'm really enjoying uh, how that's coming in with the full sun. So in your own aquariums, you gotta ask yourself, like, all right, you're not, your plants aren't gonna get full sunlight all the time. So you have to consider that. And then I've had some Anubias die off actually on me and it got too hot. So we had to lower it down here. So we've lowered the Anubias down and that seems to work out pretty well. So now we've got it in more in the shade. And that's been a good way to go because up here it was kind of it was kind of uh, you can see the leaves kind of coming off so it's all like species dependent like the anubias definitely did not like the full sun had to move it down i even have an led strip 
uh, on top of it, but it wasn't too nuts about that. So I'm gonna move this Anubias down. These tanks, by the way, weren't getting enough water flow, so I had to go, had to, had to uh, crank up the water flow right here. So now I got more water flow. Now I'm good, now I got Anubias scraps. But I will show you some of the benefits though. There's, how about some Gigantia, anyone? So this is the benefits of the full sun now right here is this is a marble sword right here. Sun's out, plants out, baby, yeah. So that's a marble sword that's going to go, but look, if it gets too high, I mean, like, look, this is what happens. Like, I got I got some hair algae on it, like, I'll admit it. Like, try, run, try running a planet tank with full sun, you know? It's hard stuff happens, so got that. I do want to show these babies, though. These babies are off the chain right there. All those babies that have been slowly just feeding those Hamburg Blacks. So, there you go, that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm doing. This is some Belixa right here that I got from my man Victor at the uh, aquascaping contest. And uh, yeah, this is also Hydrocondyl Triparta uh, doing good in full sun right here. Definitely loving this plant though. It's coming on good. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's money. But again, I mean, that's the full sun. Like that's just, you know, one layer of, of uh, greenhouse panel coming through. So, wanted to show that. I'll roll back outside, get my water. How about Crenum Tyonum right there? So yeah, what questions you got? Folks, oh, let's flop this out here, talk to y'all, see what's going on. Yo, LEDs cause you to control the LED. Most people, uh, cause you to control most people's tanks to get algae when daylight, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so one of the I forgot to mention that because I'm still tired. My kids don't let me sleep. Uh, yeah, one of the things too is a lot of people don't realize is when they have a tank set up, they might have it in a room where they actually get algae because of like na like natural daylight coming in. So they've got their actual tank light on, and then they don't realize that they're getting like light from the sun or somewhere else that's uh, causing. You'll notice I got a shade cloth on the greenhouse too. Like I cover up 60% of the sunlight with most of it. What else? What should I do if my gravel is short? How do I plant it? Add more gravel, that's easy. What's going on, everybody? Josh went home. Josh did a good job. So yeah, that's the quick lesson. Dee's gonna go back to uh, recuperating, getting himself tired, rested up. I didn't, uh, I didn't get in until really late on Sunday, and then my kids woke me up early the other day before, so there you go. So I'm out, everybody. Good meeting many of you at Reef of Palooza. Yeah, half day for Josh, my man. Might need some more substrate. Cool. Yo, D, you saw Amazon Sorbicopa starting to wilt. New healthy growth. Uh, no, man, just add uh, big water changes, man. Bacopa can handle it. If Bacopa's wilting, you got to worry about nutrients, something like that. Did you run today? I did run today, but I, got, I only got like six hours of sleep. Other, uh, other than lighting sources and LED, T5s, whatever. So, yeah, cool. All right, folks, I'm outie. Tank on. Quick lesson. Bye-bye.